Hi. It's late, I know. It's okay. Come in. I just finished a frozen dinner. I still had 20 minutes of indigestion to go. You're probably thinking you've seen enough of me for one day. I came to apologize. For what? For CC. You really take this partnership thing to heart, don't you? Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous, isn't it? He made his bed. He should be rotting it. It's okay with me if he rots standing up. Look, you're really angry. I am too. But I can't let him dig himself any deeper than he's doing because he may not be able to dig himself out of it this time. We've lost Mason, we've lost Ted. He's treating you and Greg like slave labor. And pretty soon he's going to start in Kelly and Eden. And then, win or lose, who's going to care if we're all in separate corners licking our wounds? I, I don't think he knows what he says sometimes. This is his nightmare, Julia. He thinks that building that company is the only thing he's ever accomplished. Sophia, I have been around all of you long enough to know not to look for certain things from CC. I know that the notion that a woman might have a brain bigger than a lima bean is foreign to him. With the exception of you and Eden, of course. But only by dint of years of perseverance on your part, I'm sure. I'm aware that Capwell wives are meant to be cuisined and not heard. And I know that he'll never forgive me for having a sister who married a Lockridge. So I don't expect a lovable gent who lights up whenever I enter a room. But the thing that I never dreamed that he would hold against me is the fact that I married his son. He doesn't hate Mason. He hates the way things were left. For which he blames Mason, naturally. It's kind of like the hunter who blames the pheasant for flying away. They'll settle it. They always do. They keep the rest of us straining our eardrums for the sounds of pistols at dawn. But it never happens. What I don't want in the meantime is to lose you too. I don't know. Maybe it's good that he's livid at the very mention of Mason's name because it keeps me defending him and instead of wringing his neck. Why couldn't he call me? Why, it, why doesn't he care how I feel? And, and why does it always seem that I'm raising my our daughter alone. <laughs>